Konnichiwa, Shogagoon. Let's just fix this mic. Alright, so, when I left off, I sold a, uh, an ebony helm for over 30,000 septums. And, um, now I've bought a whole crap ton of stuff. Um, uh, pfft, what was it? Um, including an ebony buckler, which I can equip. Because it counts as a buckler before it counts as an ebony armor piece. So, uh, that's pretty cool. Also, I bought some spell. Actually, I bought one spell. That's the map button. I keep doing that. I only bought, like, one spell, and then I made a ton of spells. And wasted all but 1,000 of my gold because of this awesome spell called Overdrive that I made. So yeah, I can destroy walls and floors whenever I want, make walls and floors wherever I want. Uh, soul bomb causes a giant explosion that deals damage through uh, um, deals damage to the enemy's souls, basically through armor. Soul burn is just a targeted version of soul bomb, basically. Uh, Panacea will cure any illness, anti venom, cure poison. Well, actually, there's percentage chances. Uh, once I hit level ten, will be 100% chance. But um, right now it's like 90. So skeleton key, pretty high chance of unlocking. Overdrive, here we go. Um, right click. Fortify strength by 50 points for 30 RNDs per level. I'm not sure what an RND is. Oh, hold on. Post in the comments. And um, I'll lose, strength, lose that bonus at a rate of 1 point per, er, for every 5 RNDs. I'm not sure if that means after the 30 RNDs or what, but um, then Fortify Endurance the same, and I generate 20 health every 5 RNDs for 30 RNDs per, per, uh, per level. So right now, each of these spells will last, like this spell will last a total of 30 seconds, or RNDs, I guess. I think that's seconds. I'm just going to call it seconds. 30 seconds times 8 is 4 minutes, where I'm just massively awesome, but it costs like 787, yeah, it costs a lot of mana, and I'm pretty sure more than I have, yep, by a long shot, so I can't use it yet, but when I do, it's going to be freaking awesome, it's going to be like, Taking it into overdrive. Oh my god, everyone's dead. No one's gonna survive against me. So, um. Yeah. I need to get. Oh! Forgot to set a timer. Is my phone even over here? Oh, there's it. There's it. Put in the wrong password because I missed the last number and it counts. Um, also, I'm working with iKings SGC, I think it's called. Uh, just a mod, like a modding division thing. It's awesome, really. They're, we're working on a Minecraft mod. I'm not a modder, I'm a modeler. I don't have any experience with Java, just some. Just C-sharp, really. Just going to make coding the Skyrim mod in interesting, because I do have some background in the C language, because it's in uh, Skyrim's in C++. But... I, um... I don't have any, like, experience in C++, so... That should be interesting. Something's popping up. Oh, stupid internet sign up -y thing from Hewlett Packard. Inside the audience chamber of Blue Bomka, the queen of her hod, the new sprouts of spring die young, and the perfume of the fresh blossom turns to sickly stench. Blue Bomka is rumored to have angered the city state oracle, who placed upon the queen a curse of poor health. The political change has been very noticeable in such a city state where tradition is of highest importance.
Hell, Blue Bomb Go. Can I rest here? Because that would be awesome. I'd just be like, I'm just going to sleep in your house. Castle. You've recovered the parchment. I hope you put Galthog into an early grave as well. So you said Galthog was a necromancer. Who, oh, so he summoned all the skeletons. He was the leader of the band of goblins. I don't know what the ghouls were all about. Are those still undead, technically? Still, I will complete my end of the bargain. I'm not sure who Galthog was still. I never ran into him. Is, is it possible to actually fight him? Should I go back and fight him sometime? Eventually, when I'm like level 200. Um, anyways. Queen Blubanka motions to a courier. Courtier, not courier. Who respectfully bows and brings forward a pen. Staring intently at the parchment, the queen takes a few moments and then inscribes the location of Fanglair somewhere in the province of Hammerfell onto your map. Sure, okay, let's go. Uh, before we go to Hammerfell, I'm going to need to cure my disease. And I'm going to need to rest in an inn. So, hey, you, random lady. Random lady. Uh, where is the nearest temple? It's north of here. Wonderful. A bit more specification is preferred, but beggars can't be choosers. Hey, you. Hey, hey you. Hey, you. Person with the awesome clothes that I want. Dude, if someone, like, I'm not all that popular now, but when I, if I ever get really popular and someone just, like, some fan just, like, sends me those clothes... I will wear them in public. I promise. Like, seriously? Um, where's the nearest temple? Northwest. Seriously, though. Those clothes. Like, even, the same colors and everything. Like, I would walk around. I would go to school in those clothes and just be like, Yeah, what's up? I look like a freaking white red guard. I would not wear that though. I'm going to be f frank with you. Um, where's the nearest temple? Ah, I've gone all the west I I mean all the north I need to. Now it's time to continue on west. Is that it? It is. Let's check. What, what temple is this? Conclave of Solitude. No, I'm not in Solitude. I'm in Rahad. Can you cure me, sir? Thank you. Thank you for curing me. I was afraid that I might just be fine regardless because I, I actually fought off ghouls and goblins and rats and spiders despite being that disease. Um, am I going to get to Fanglair in this episode? How long do I have exactly? Where's the timer? Oh no, did the timer cancel? Did I accidentally hit cancel? Awkward smiles. Uh, yeah, not sure what to do right now. Um, anyways, let's go find an inn. Let's go find an inn and inn. Hey, you. Where is the nearest inn? Northwest of here, last time I checked. Thank you. Hello. Don't mind me, just looking for an inn. Looking for a place to spend the night.
Wait, was that it? Oh, that's a lamp. I thought that was a sign. Hey, girl. Hey, girl, can I crash at your place? I'm just kidding. Your clothes are weird. Can you just tell me where the inn is? Oh, I went too far north. What do you know? Look at this. It's like a mini desert in the middle of the city. That's nice. Unless you're allergic to sand. Then it would kind of suck. You walk into the Green Noose. Who names a place the Green Noose? Immediately wishing you were again out in... Yeah, because it's got noose in the name. That is not very good for business. Where is the owner of this establishment? Dude, you have noose in the name of your bar. I need to get a room now. Seriously, I need I need a room. Uh, just just the one probably. Ooh, you see, I was thinking more like eight, seven, eight. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Rest until fully healed. Oh, I forgot to set. God dang it! Alright. I'm healed after a nice, after a good night's sleep. Exactly eight hours. Except before that, it was 2 p.m. So I probably shouldn't have had a good night's sleep in the middle of the day. Uh, that can throw off your internal clock. Speaking of clocks, timer! I actually started it this time. All right. Ooh, what's this? Stairs. I love stairs. Oh, just more rooms. Let me back. Uh, am I going to get to Fang Lair? In this? Yes, I am. There's the way out. Shift M. Hammerfell. Let us away to Fang Lair. Sure. Whatever. Blah, 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 blah. No one cares. Horsey! Fang Lair. You stand before the dragon gate of Fang Lair. Humbled before its majesty, the dwarven hold seems abandoned long ago. Its stone walls cracking with age and neglect. Somewhere within its dank depths lies the first piece of this tower. All right, so I'm pretty sure it's generally like southwest. I want to say that's the general direction in which I'm supposed to be going. I'm going to jump in this hole. Mine shaft A. It could be wrong. It could be south and east. Say this way. West. Adam West. I right, look. A way out. Where am I? Someone tell me where I am. I'm furious with you. Oh, I should probably draw my sword. Alright, I have actually never been in this part of Fang Lair before. Because it took me a while last time to, fi to, fig to, fi to figure out that you were supposed to go in those holes. I thought those were like murder-death holes. Oh, hello. Hello, skeleton. Guess what I have this time that I didn't have last time. Freaking short bow. Prepare yourself for oblivion.
and that sound means it's the end of the video. Um, I'm just finished killing the skeleton. Thanks for watching. You know where the like and subscribe buttons are? Just click them. Sign our show, everyone.